right, so I'm going to try to tell this story. This is a pretty serious one. Hopefully the camera will go all the way. I was, um, so some, you know, something kept me going when I started researching this stuff. And it was because I started listening to it. Um, I heard a couple things that people were saying, some of the researchers, about the government getting a hold of some of the um, technology and trying to back engineer it. Um, and I don't know what's going on, but I had an experience. I had a few experiences when I was younger, and um, some were with more of a demonic entity that was like some kind of demon. Some kind of demonic entity. Um, it was, I could feel it. And I would hear voices, and I felt this gigantic. At one time, I felt it was. I was laying on the bed because I was frozen, and um, this was in my mother's room. I was like frozen in fear, and I was just laying there on the bed, and I, I, I could feel it and see it in my mind, but not reality. Uh, it's hard to explain when you have a. Um, supernatural, a real authentic supernatural experience, but I felt this giant like globe, um, like uh, heliocentric, helios, like, it, it was like, it was like a huge um, orb, and it was so, it made me this, it, it was projecting this feeling of this unbelievable like, like I was like almost like Atlas holding the world up, like this pressure of this this orb, and it was so huge, and it was more of an energy and force, and it was pushing down. It was so close to me. It was like it was laying right on top of me. It was over me, and it was bigger than it would have fit in the room. But supernaturally, it was obviously there. But it was it was bigger than the room. It was huge. It was like the size of the house. It was as big as my house or bigger. And it, it was pressing me like it was making me lie still and wait there and holding me there. And I don't know what it was. And that was one of my experiences. And then I had an experience that I spoke about in another video where my whole room was like disheveled and then it went back to normal. And I'm really telling you this wasn't a dream. I used to have these weird, um, like, I did have a lot of, I had a couple um, vivid dreams to where I was loose in my dream and I could wake myself up and I almost could feel things and stuff, I don't know, strange experiences, um, but then the alien spacecraft experience um, rang true with me because I started hearing people talking about theirs and I could to mine, like, I think the ship was, it had all these lights, different colors, and it didn't, I didn't, it looked almost like hardware, like, it almost looked kind of, like, like nuts and bolts -y. but it had this pay and the big, big main light in the middle where that, now that I come to find out, that's like the zero point like energy f f thing that's supposed, supposedly in these things that um, but anyway, so I, and it was and then the other thing that rang true so it might, might have not been like an alien ship is what I'm saying, it might have been a government thing going on but, and they might have been testing, but and the other strange part was I wasn't I wasn't looking at the friggin' window or I, I wasn't doing anything that would cause me to go over to my window like it, it wasn't I didn't accidentally stumble upon it I I all of a sudden felt compelled in my head to the point to where you couldn't ignore it it was like they were calling you. Like, now that I know in the brain interface technology, and I think I can kind of, like, I can, I've experienced that before, it, it, it just told me to look out the window. Like, I knew it, there was nothing.
nothing I was doing at the time where I would casually, like, I had to stop what I was doing. I was, like, reading through a magazine and, like, listening to music and stuff. Like, I was totally doing other things, and I had to stop because I felt compelled in my head. Like, it was like a telepathic message. Now I'm realizing what this stuff is. Like, I, I felt they told me to look, and I looked quickly and looked away and realized I had seen something and looked back again and looked at this thing for like ten, like a solid five to ten seconds. A lot. Like, I looked and looked away and was like, what the, wait a minute, and I looked like this, oh. And it, it was so gigantic. It was, um, I'd have to say a good 250 to 300 feet, okay? So I'm trying to look like how I'm, I'm driving behind it. It was a good 300 feet, at least. And it was silent. It did not make any sound, and it was so close, and it was so huge, and it was just above the trees, and it was ovular like this, and it had the light in the center, it had all these lights and stuff around the edge in multiple different direct colors and, and uh, different positions, and that main light that was seemed to be more like a bluish light, um, but it was a white pearlescent like light maybe it wasn't fired up or something um, and I sat there and stared at it five seconds and then just like I got the, the com compulsion like message in my brain to look I got the same overwhelming sense of fear and I immediately jumped off my bed and ran down the stairs and I ran down the stairs so fast that I almost broke my, I almost like slipped and broke my ankle and broke my leg. Like I almost fell, seriously. So like, and then I, and then I, like I was just so curious. I was like, I went down there and I'm like, I just thought, I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm not scared, I'm not, I'm not that scared. I'm not, I'm not. And so I ran, I was like, I want to know, like that, that thing's going to still be there. And I ran up there. It's got to still be there. It's just sitting there. It was like this thing had to, I thought in my logical mind, uh, at that age as a kid, I'm like, this has to be, this had to be a limp a couple times. I'm like, this is like the Goodyear blimp or something there, like flip up clouds right now or something. This thing was friggin' huge, dude, and it was no more than 100 feet off the ground or so, and it was about 300, yeah, it was about 300 feet at least. It was about 200 foot wide by 300 foot in length like ovular and it was only 100 and 120 feet off the ground and it was silent and it had all them lights and I know that was not something that was put in my brain it wasn't a how do you how do you come up with so much detail like in your mind you know like I you know and I heard horrible stories about people blocking things out of their minds so I don't, I think that I would be horrified if that ever happened to me, so, and I think it has a few times, so I'm trying to figure out the answers, and that's what I wanted to give to you guys, that it rang true that some of them can look like nuts and bullsy, and that's probably us imitating it, and they might have been testing the technology to see if they could make military operations dude like they were out there freaking testing and I I don't know it's crazy dude um so I just wanted to share that with you guys because it, it just it brought me I'm like see I get like crazy and mystified over this stuff because it's it just blows my mind because I had a couple personal experiences um with both like mo like almost like demonic entities and this alien ship one one time and it's just I don't know my life has been very strange made it through a lot of amazing
missing things. I've been up, I've been down to the bottom and up to the top. And I've made it through a couple near death freaking experiences. Um, so, I, and I was sick when I was born. I'm not even supposed to be alive and on this planet, guys. So, um, I just want to realize how important this stuff is. And I think this, if we all get together, we can help and get some information out. And we can spread the word and wake people up. And, um, I've, I've experienced, like, a spiritual awakening and a consciousness and an expansion of my consciousness and awareness because, um, you know, as a, like I said, as a technique in a self-help program, I learned that we did this thing to where we called on each other and called each other out for everything that was crazy rules and you could swear and stuff, so it was like, but it helped bring up awareness and the whole thing whole thing of this program was aware building your awareness and it, it was one of the most important it is the most important thing um, building your awareness and then if you add a little higher power into that you're pretty much unstoppable God like creating you know and you don't have to live in um, bondage you don't have to be um, lost in the desert or government alien spacecraft um, experience and a few just you know just let you know that the stuff is uh there's some credence to it man so if uh, i'd like to expand your consciousness and awareness and uh, become a better person knowledge is power guys see ya stay conscious stay aware